What's up guys, it's Awana Turtle. Today we are doing another Ultra Shiny GX box opening um, with kind of like it essentially confirmed that this card is me coming out in English. There's an interesting thing going on in the, um, for people that kind of like keep track of the market as far as um, sealed boxes and stuff like that. So as far as I can tell, the uh, prices of the Japanese box and the Korean box for Ultra Shiny are slowly going down. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it's in reaction to this set coming out in English, where before, like when it wasn't going to hit English, it's like, oh my gosh, Japanese, that's the only way you can get it. Uh, but then the Korean set is a very cheap option uh, if you don't want to spend out, spend the money to do Japanese. Um, so people are buying a bunch of boxes. And then now that the English set's coming out, it's like, all right, nope, the thing to collect is going to be the English version. Um, not this, not the Korean one, definitely. And even that will kind of like, uh, in my opinion, lower the value of the Japanese set. And sellers are responding to that. So we're going to take a quick look on eBay. So this is for if you wanted to open any of your own, uh, just because you're really excited about the it, this coming out, I think in like fall or something like that. Uh, so there's just, the prices are going down. There are some sales going on right now on eBay so let's take a quick look so I did uh, do some cruising and this was like the cheapest I could find the Japanese boxes and so they're hovering around $71 and like as far as like the price going down uh, the last bunch I bought was around the like the cheapest I could find was low 80s um, and before that like I feel like things were getting close to 100 uh, and then things have been still going down so now is a good time potentially again if you want to get it uh, I think the Japanese card will still hold the value uh, but it's still like $70 a box and there's only 10 packs inside But there is some stuff going on. So if you do buy from eBay uh, Somewhat often you might have a 10% or 8% cash back offer for from eBay bucks and so If you were so as far as how low the price is if you were to buy three So we are looking at like what was that? 190 something um no, no, two, <laughs> over $210. Uh, but then you can get 8% back in eBay bucks. Uh, Rakuten, formerly eBay, Ebates, uh, does give 1% cash back. And then you, so that uh, at that point you're at uh, nine, you talk, toss on your credit card cash back as well. You're at easily at over 10% cash back. Um, and, but that, and that goes for anything that any of these items that we're talking about. So this is the Japanese set. Uh, again, this is the cheapest I've ever seen it. And I have to exp have to believe that this is in response to it basically being confirmed that this will be uh, released in English. So again, eBay bucks, um, eBay slash Rakuten plus credit card, you're looking at 10% cash back. And then if you want to go the cheaper route, because yeah, because like the big thing will be in English in a year from now, I feel like the English cards are going to be what matters. But if you are itching to get into the set, uh, the cheaper option is that the Korean set. And so this I've seen basically hovering around $30. And then again, my, in my opinion, in response to this being announced for English, uh, these are even going to go down as well. So for the Korean set, we're looking at about uh, $29 uh, to $30. Uh, this was the cheapest one I could see. This is a different seller than I purchased them. Um, however, I, I imagine they're all pretty good. Like shipping is really fast and stuff like that. Um, and this does include free shipping. So, and everything still applies as far as that cash back. So, you know, check if you still have that Ebates offer. Um, Sign up for Rakuten uh, if you're not already a member, and then you know obviously use your credit card that you can get some cash back. So all these combined about like again over just over 10% cash back um, if you buy it from eBay, and if you do want to get into Ultra Shine GX, but again it is pretty sure it's going to come out in English. So and in a, from a year from now that will be what what matters. But if you do want to get into it, these are. These are the places I would recommend buying from. I will put links down below in the description uh, to both of these listings. If you want to, uh, you know, pick up any of these boxes to open if you have your own channel or anything like that um, for Ultra Shiny. So, all right, spiel over. <laughs> Let's get into uh, this box of Korean Ultra Shiny GX. All right, so we got 15 packs in this box. Oh, we're going to start with this Cell Valley pack. Uh, so yeah, sometimes the the eBay sellers, if you buy like, sometimes I buy more than one box. So sometimes they're very generous and they'll just send like little extra things. And this time they sent, a, I'm not sure what set this is, but I'm guessing there's a Cell Valley GX that you can pull <laughs> considering the pack art. All right, for this bonus pack, we have a Alolan Graveler. 
Salandit. Uh, this is a Minchino, maybe? Uh, Cacturn to Cacnea to Cacturn. And then I'm guessing this is a Judge's Red card. Alright, so nothing there, but hey, that was a bonus, so we'll take it. Oh, if you. Ooh. So, the reason we have two videos today, um, and if you haven't seen our video from earlier, definitely go check it out. There's like multiple reasons why you need to see that video. Uh, first off, we looked at the new card that was announced in Unified Minds, and uh, so definitely check out that video. In my opinion, that is going to define the meta starting this summer. A single card is going to change everything. So check that video out for that news. And then we had an opening as well where we went, uh, once again, Charizard hunting. And while we didn't pull the Charizard, we got absolutely insane pulls. We got multiple, um, as far as like full arts and hyper rares, we got multiple of those. Uh, so definitely check that out. It was an amazing opening. Here we go in Ultra Shiny GX. We have a Combuskin, Eevee, Cosmoem. Love these energies. That's this is the only thing about the Korean set. While uh, I think the Japanese set will always be kind of like have more value and it costs more too. But uh, these ones, all the cards are shiny, and I think it really help shows with the energy. And to be honest, like unless you're entering a tournament, um, since they have like the same back, you can use these, especially if you sleeve all your cards when you play. You can use these, and I feel like they just look really awesome. So we have Alolan Doug Trio, Grass Memory, Fan Rotom. Can never remember your name. And then a Guzzlord, followed by Reshiram. So, if you're not familiar with this set, there is Shiny Pokemon. So, for the Korean boxes, for Japanese boxes, you usually get two SRs plus one SSR. And for the Korean, I feel like you're, the chances of getting a third SR are very likely. However, we have gotten boxes where that wasn't the case. We really, um, Fiery Flint, actually a really good card right now. A Frost Rotom, Raikou, and then, ooh, nice. Tapu Lele GX, soon to be rotated out, but quickly replaced with, in my opinion, either that Mewtwo or that Dedene. And speaking of Dedene, check out our video from earlier today. Absolutely amazing. Insane pulls. Okay, Slugma. Wooper, Riolu, a Metal Energy, Poiple, uh, is this one Evelyn? Uh, Rotom, it's a Viper, Manaphy, and then a Type Null. As always guys, if you do enjoy the content, uh, or if you're excited for Ultra Shiny GX, show the love by hitting that like button down below. And if you're not subscribed already, definitely hit that sub button. We do Pokemon videos every single day, and uh, Yu-Gi-Oh has become an everyday thing as well. And we'll occasionally do some Magic the Gathering just because we have, or I absolutely love that game. We have a Mysterious Treasure, very good card, Magirna, Flash Rotom, Xerneas, love this card. And then a DNC Prism Star. Okay, so still no SRs. Um, this is about the time I like to start hitting the SRs. I don't like hitting them in the first couple packs, uh, but then as like you start getting to like the bottom, bottom third, that's when you start getting nervous. All right, we have a Gibble, Psychic Energy, Curlia, a Water Memory, a Wash Rotom, Leaf Blower, a Let Loose Marsh Shadow, very good card, and then a Magnezone. So, still only a single GX. And uh, as far as the difference between the Japanese and uh, the Korean set, so the Japanese packs is only 10, but they're absolutely loaded. Every single one comes with, so instead of reverse, they have like the Shatter Foil. Uh, so it's like a Shatter Rare. Not Shatter Rare, but uh, kind of like the reverse foil, but Shatter Foil pattern. Um, this is the Evelyn. We got a Mimikyu, Weavile, Dark Rye. Ooh, here is our first shiny Pokemon. We have a po Lolan Vulpix, one of my favorites. Um, and then, yeah, the Japanese one, each pack comes with at least a GX, a um, like a foil, a shatter foil, and then compared to these ones, which you're guaranteed two hollows or better. So the SRs are either non GX shinies, it could be the full art trainers. And it could be the gold cards, whether it's the Tapu, uh, Bulu, Lele, Fini, um, or the uh, 
Necrozmas. Although we still have yet to pull a gold card. We have a couple full art trainers. Although I think they're all... I think they're all fishermen. <laughs> I think we have a Korean one and a Japanese one, so we've been getting a some some duplication for our SRs and SSRs. For the SSR slot, you're looking for obviously the big the big guy is that shiny Charizard. Then there's also a Rayquaza as well. Uh, a bunch of the evolutions in like Leafeon, Glaceon, Sylveon. So those are obviously the ones you'll want to search for. Okay, so we got one SR so far. We have a Dino, Swablu, Magnemite, Grass Energy. Uh, so as far as my own thoughts, Guzma, nice. If you do want to get into this set and you're just dying to open some, I would recommend the Korean set, if anything. Yeah, the Japanese, I, I just don't think it's worth the price anymore, uh, especially now that it's all but, all but like confirmed that it will be released in English. And again, I feel like the market has responded to that and prices have gone down. So, so for people that bought a bunch of like packs and with the idea to keep some of them sealed, like I, to be honest, I have some of those. I'm, I have some like that. And uh, yeah, it's, it's like so excited they'll be coming in. It's like, oh man, these probably, this probably won't hold this value very well. A Lusamine, a Lola Marowak, a Beast Ring, very good card, Lucario, and then a Hoopa. Okay, I feel like if we're gonna get three SRs, we should have hit. Uh, we should hit another one <laughs> very soon. All right, let's see. We got a Fennekin, Bulbasaur, Grass Energy, Cosmoem, a Rolts, uh, Rotom, Wishful Baton, Quagsire, Type Null, and then boom, Shiny Darkrai. I feel like we've been pulling a lot of Dark Ride with all the Burning Shadows packs we've been opening. And so I'm starting to warm up to this guy. First I thought he was just kind of like this weird ghost. Now all of his arts, they're all like, none of them are like, there's no bleh um, Dark Ride arts. They're all pretty cool. He reminds me of any, if there's any like anime people out there, if you ever watched Soul Eater, he reminds me of Shinigami. So there we have it. There's our SSR. Uh, again, you almost, you're essentially... As far as I can tell, guaranteed SSR and at least two SRs, uh, potentially three. So let's get two more SRs to wrap up this opening. Definitely wouldn't mind a, another full art trainer. Oh, we pulled a Guzma once. So that's probably one of the big. The only other one that might be bigger is Cynthia. Rushy Ram, followed by Heatran. Uh oh. Only three packs left. Chance of pulling two SRs. Whew. Not that great. Let's see if we can't clutch up and pull it off anyway. We got a Whooper, Ivysaur, Alolan Diglett, Psychic Energy, Curlia, Ingo and Emmett. They're like on a subway. A Obama Snow, Magirna, Raiko, and then boom, another one. We got a Magnezone Shiny. I feel like I have a couple copies of this too. There, Magnezone is kind of weird. It kind of looks like a UFO, but there's one art. I don't remember what set it is where Magnezone and he kind of has like two Magnemites around him. He kind of looks like um, some kind of like futuristic, like he's like the drone patrol in the streets or something. Is it the, un is there Unbroken Bonds one? I can't remember. Maybe it was in Sky Legends. But we have two packs left in this opening. All right, can we get one more SR? Let's see, we got a Combuskin, Magneton, Lightning Ant, these energies are so nice. Rock Ruff, Fairy Charm, Macargo. Oh, this is another way to accelerate the Dragon of GX. Fan Rotom, Altaria, and then a Guzzlord. All right, come down to this last pack. Can we get one more SR? I feel like we've gotten, I think more, more often than not, we've gotten that third SR. So I'm still very hopeful. I feel like we can do it. We got Pachirisu, Poipo, Water Energy, Inkei, Custom Catcher, Malamar, this guy, so, uh, Energy Accelerator, Kartana, Xerneas, and, drumroll, can we get one more SR? Boom! Nope! Feramosa! Either way, still a very solid opening, uh, pretty good Shinies, and a pretty good SSR as well, and, um, yeah, so, yeah, guys, uh, I think it's the fall, I think it'll be soon after, shortly after Unified Mines, which the 
um, the shiny kind of like one of those one-off sets like Generations and Shining Legends and Dragon Majesty then that's when that'll drop and that's when you can start pulling your own English shinies but if you're just itching to get into some earlier than that check those links down below uh, for the eBay and check if you have that eBucks offer so you can save up to 10% or more in your purchases um, so that's all we have for today guys uh, thanks for all the support like comment and subscribe all down below I'm Moana Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time Peace.